गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम तनुश्री दड़ाई फ्रॉम सिविल इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू योर थ्योरी टू पेपर विच नेम इज स्ट्रक्चरल डिजाइन टू सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अ न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड ऑन अन इक्वल एंगल सेक्शन सो नाउ we will start from the beta calculation so for the beta calculation we need to put the value of bs lc and omega so the omega value is 75 mm bs value is 127 mm and lc value is 150 mm so we calculated all these things in the previous class so now put all this value in the beta formula by which we got the value of beta as 1.032 so your beta is always greater than 0.7 and less than fu gamma m0 divided by fy gamma m so this is the criteria for calculation of beta so here the beta is fully satisfied with this condition so we can take the beta value as 1.032 so now we can calculate the strength in rupture so now tdn equal to 0.9 amcfu divided by gamma ml plus beta agofy divided by gamma mo so by putting this value 0.9 into anc is 0608 fu is 410 divided by 1.25 plus beta which is 1.032 into ago is 568 multiplied by fy which is 150 250 whole divided by gamma m0 which is 1.1 so by calculating this we got the value of tdn as 321.70 kN hence the strength of the unequal angle section in rupture is equal to 321.70 kN so now comes to the calculation of strength of block shear of the angle section so now you can see in this figure the connected leg portion is considered as a single flat section and here the four numbers of bolts are provided in one row hence the block shear should be in this direction and again vertically in this direction so this portion is considered as the block shear portion for the isa so this portion is maximized here so now for the calculation of the area of v line and t line we need to consider the horizontal portion as v line and the vertical portion as t line so along the v line we need to calculate avg and apn and along the t line we will calculate atg and atn so first of all avg which is cross section area of the block shear along the v line so the formula is the width of the block shear along the v line multiplied by thickness of the block shear portion 
So the total width of the plate of block shear along the V line is from here to here. That means 40 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 40 which is the total width of the block shear portion along V line multiplied by thickness which is given as 8. So by calculating this we got the value of ABG as 1520 mm square. Next one is your ABN. So as I said in before to calculate the ABN we just need to deduct the bolt hole portion from the total width of the block shear along the V-line. So along the V-line in one portion that means along the top portion the block shear bolted are provided. So the numbers of bolts are here 1, again 1, again 1 and it is half of the half. So we will take this as 1 by 2. So the total number of bolt is 3 and half. So by multiplying 3 and half with the diameter of the bolt hole and deduct this from the total width of the block shear along the V line and multiplied with the thickness of the angle section, we can find out the value of ABN. So by calculating this, we got the value 960 mm square, which is the value of ABN. In this way, the ATG and ATN value we can calculate. So to calculate the ATG, which is the gross section area along the T line, that means the width of the block shear along the T line multiplied by thickness of the block shear which is 8 and the width of the block shear along the T line is here to this much which is 40 here to this much. So the formula is 40 into 8. So here we got the value of ATG as 320 mm square. And last one is your ATN as similar to ABN. So here we need to deduct the bolt hole area portion from the T line. So you can see along the T line only this portion is we have to deduct. So this portion that means the numbers of bolt hole here is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 multiplied by the whole diameter which is 20. So we can deduct this portion from the total width of the block shear portion along the T line. Hence we got the value as 248 mm square. Hence we can find out the block shear portion that is the TDB1 and TDB2 from these four kinds of area. So just put the value like 1520 into 250 divided by root 3 into 1.1 plus 0 0.9 into 248 into 410 divided by 1.25 hence the value is coming as 272.66 kN which is the value of TDB1. So now put the value of ATG and AVN in the TDB2 by which we can write 
320 into 250 divided by 1.1 plus 0.9 into 960 into 410 divided by root 3 into 1.25. Hence, the value is coming as 236.343 kilonewton, which is the value of TDB2. So now we know that. The strength of the block shear of any tension member is the minimum of TDB1 and TDB2. So hence the minimum value is 236.343 kN. So now the strength of the total angle section is equal to the minimum strength of the yielding rupture and block shear. Hence, the minimum value of the strength is coming out as the block shear strength which is 236.343 kN. So, this is about your strength of the angle section. So, now comes to the strength of the bolt calculation. So, we know that to calculate the strength of the bolt, we need to calculate design strength in shearing and design strength in bearing. So hence, it is also one type of lap joint. So for that, we can take the NN value as 1 and NS value is 0. So now put all this value in this formula which is design shearing strength by which we can got the value as 45.26 kN. So next is your design strength in bearing. So first of all to calculate the design strength of bearing we need to calculate the KB value which is the minimum of all these four value. So by putting E by 3 D0 we got the value 0 0.606. Next is 0.508, third one is 0.976 and fourth one is your 1. So the minimum of this 4 value is 0.508. So we can put this value in place of KB and calculate the value of design bearing strength. So 2.5 into 0.508 into 20 into 8 into 410 divided by 1.25 we got the value of design bearing strength as 66.65 kN. So now the numbers of bolt is given as 4 numbers of bolt. So we need to multiply the numbers of bolt in both the design bearing strength as well as in design shearing strength. Hence, total strength of the bolt in shearing and bearing we can find out. So now, after multiplying the numbers of bolt, the minimum value of the strength of bolt is coming as 181.04 kN. Hence, the design strength of the angle section is the minimum of strength in angle section and strength in bolt. So, you can see the strength of bolt we got as 181.04 and the strength of the bolt or the strength of the angle section we found out as 236.343. Hence, the design of tensile strength is equal to the minimum of strength in angle and strength in bolt which is 181.04 kN.